Hello, YouTube family. Thank you guys for joining me on another update on my locks. And yes, we are at 11 months. Yay! I have never shown you guys how I retwist my hair, and I'm showing you guys here how I do it. Since I've had my hair locked, I have never had a retwist from someone else other than myself. And listen here, there is no special part in or trying to refine my parts or make it perfect. I don't care about any uh, of that, okay? All I care about is having healthy, thriving locks. So for my retwist, I don't use greasy products to retwist my hair because that will leave a lot of buildup and so for me I only do like a gel texture right but then again you have to find the right gel that's something that is good for your hair something that also still doesn't leave too much buildup and also something that will hold your hair in place so this shea moisture product I've been using this from day one from my first retwist and I love this product so y'all don't know y'all don't know but i do do locks as well right i do it on my mom's hair which her videos are coming soon and i also do it on my friend's hair as well right and he has thick short hair and i've used this product on my daughter's hair as well and she has really thick full hair as well and this product goes well with each hair type also, it doesn't leave white residues, and this is for different hair, for different locks, and none of us have white residues or extra, extra amount of buildup because you cannot get away from buildup. You might have it in one or two of your locks, but nothing excessive though. So don't think you're going to use products and not have any kind of buildup because sometimes you wash your hair and you're, you're really not washing your hair properly unless someone else is doing because you can't see in the back of your hair right you might be able to get all the build up from the front and the sides but one or two in the back might get away so i know you guys saw after i put the product on and twist my hair i then use my other hand and squeeze out the excessive product out of my hair so that's what i do when i do retwist i don't leave that on my hair to dry because that's that's product, right? And I don't need that much. The only thing I need is for my roots to be twisted. So when I see that excessive, that white thing that you see me using my other hand to slide to get out, I just wipe that off on a napkin. So I always have like few sheets of napkin whenever I'm doing retwist on my hair or anyone else's hair. So at 11 months, I'm still doing the same things I was doing from day one. And let me tell you guys something because I will be dropping a video showing proof of this, but water makes your hair lock faster. It's a serious real thing and I have proof. So if you're a baby in your hair saying you don't want it to get wet because your retwist will be messed up or whatever else you're thinking, you are delaying your locks process what you are looking at is the spray bottle that i use for my hair and i do recommend this you don't even have to have locks right but we're talking about locks but you can use the spray bottle for a lot of things and the great thing about it is you get the exact amount of water that you need it's a mist it doesn't spray like like you're trying to put out a fire it sprays with care and love you know, that's what you need to be spraying over your locks. So back to my 11 month update. It is going very well. Um, <laughs> too well, actually, because I'm definitely seeing length. People have been calling me out on my, the length of my locks. Like, hold on. Your hair looks different. Like, it's getting longer. So now I have my hair coming down on the side of my shoulders now obviously not the top part because that part is i don't know it hasn't reached downwards yet but everywhere else from the side going around to the back 
those are pretty um, pretty decent length however my hair is not long enough to put up in a ponytail without having few of them falling downwards so I'm looking forward to that part but obviously it's gonna come one day God's will now look at this photo look at it I saw this photo and I just couldn't believe it like it's just crazy seeing your hair transform to where it is at 11 months right 11 months ago was day one you understand and how my hair looked then and how it looks now it's just it inspires me like I can't wait to see what it looks like when I pass a year so these videos were taken and in photos because there's that one photo these were all taken within the course of 11 months it wasn't a one day or a two day thing this is literally weeks in between each video and each picture so this is what my hair looks like right now I was on my way to the gym look at my little hang time and of course you see those little jewelry in my hair I have a little I, have, I put like three um, shells in my hair and I believe three um, beads like the wooded ones there you can see it at the top right there all over the blue shout outs to everyone going through their lock journey I wish you guys the best just keep taking care of your hair and keep giving it love and water <laughs> and I'll catch you next time in the next video thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to support this channel thank you